Right there. Happy days. <laughs> We've come to that part of the week again. The weekend. And I don't mind admitting I'm tired. Tired early night for the Sarge tonight. <sighs> but there are things that make your day when you get home. And, and, and the Fox Box is one of those things. Um, this is number four now. So I'm going to do the grand opening and um, see what goodies we got this month. Um, as before, I've explained what the Fox Box is. It's um, a subscription box that you pay for on a monthly or three monthly or six monthly. I'll put the details at the bottom of this video and you can go and check it out yourselves. Um, but I'm going to get stuck in. Okay. Um, I'll move that out of the way. That's um, an apology for using some plastic packaging. Okie dokie. We'll flip that over in a minute. Get this plastic stuff. Ooh. No spoilers today, okay? Right. First thing I noticed first is the Grizzly Bushcraft Pocket Buddy. This is a great legal folding blade with a pocket clip. Great for the woods or your EDC. Um, recommended retail price, £13. So that's the first. Shall we open up and have a look? Oh, it's nice. It's like um, gunmetal grey. Okay. Oh, there's a bit of resistance in that. It's um, it's quite weighty, to be honest. Do you want a close up of it? It's quite nice, actually. Thirteen pound. We getting that? That's right. Admittedly, I've never heard of Grizzly Bushcraft, but there's a lot of things I haven't heard of. Right, so that's nice. That's the first first reveal. That's nice, huh? Happy days. Okay. Next, can we have a look? <laughs> Sticky toffee pudding. Okay. Well, I suppose if you're going to have a single boil in the bag item, it's either going to be the all day breakfast or sticky toffee pudding. But all day breakfast would have meat in it so maybe that wouldn't appeal to the vegetarians out there anyway sticky toffee pudding what's it say mre it's not mre this isn't america this is boiling the bag mate um sticky toffee pudding easy boil in the bag mre style camping pudding Great for camping, bug out bags, emergency kits, um, or just because it's sticky toffee pudding. Four pound. Um, yeah. They're not cheap. Boiling the bag stuff is not cheap. And I, I may get round to doing um, a video on, on, yeah, on that sort of stuff. But that's for another day. Right, let's have a look. We've got, that's a nice little, oh, that's very cool. Very cool. Looks like it's waterproof, sealed box, little container, little bits and pieces. 
That's very cool. What do they call it? Mini gear EDC box. This is a tough little case with a small lidded inner sections for the small gear that sometimes just gets lost in bigger storage systems. £1.50. That, that is a tough little box. That is, that is solid. You're not going to break that. That's very cool. Um, I'm sure I will find a job for that. Let's have a look. Um, I saw this and it has a picture of a girl on it and it's kind of pink and it says twisted hazel gifts. Let's have a look if I can find this here. Um, okay. Game prepping soap. This pink rough soap is to protect and clean your hands after gutting your favourite kill. Handmade in the UK. Etsy.com. Whoa! Man, that's got some, some power behind it. It smells antibacterial. It smells... Okay, Twisted Hazel Gifts. Okay, E-T-S-E. -E. That's Echo Tango Sierra Yankee dot com. Um, might have to look at that. Because I, I tend to take um, hand sanitizer and baby wet wipes. Okay, um, that's a free gift. Happy days, it's free. Um, yeah, soap. Something I've never taken out in the field with me before, but yeah, cool. Um, yeah, this is sort of standing out at me because I have no idea. And it says form card. Form, form card. Okay, truly an awesome bit of kit that fits in your wallet. Use hot water to get the card soft and then mould, that's what it is, and then mould it. I have seen stuff, I think on Pinterest I saw this. You basically stick it in hot water and you can mould it, you can fix stuff with it, you can make stuff out of it. Um, very cool. Yet another thing I'd never thought of taking out with me. But yeah, that might, that, it doesn't take up any room whatsoever. I think, I think if you take one of those out with you, if something breaks, you know that you can fix it with a bit of that. So many uses, hundreds of uses for that. Okay. I think you could even make sky hooks out of that. Very cool. Okay. Um, some more of these, um, what are they called? Um, waxlings. Fire starter waxlings. Right. Um, Highlander gel stove. Never seen one of those. Highlander gel stove. Um, an all-in-one budget stove for camping day bags and bug out bags. Make sure you give this time to cool down after use. Shall we open it up? Okay. Cool. Cool. Gel stove. I'm guessing you pop that open. This is without reading instructions, because you know you know what I'm like. Oh, oh yeah, stinky gel. Happy days. Like that. Stick that on there. That's brilliant. That's brilliant, and that's absolutely rammed full of gel. That's going to last a while. 
value six pound. Like I said, I've never seen those, but I think that's going to be worth a whirl. I think we'll have a play with that. Okay. So, I think we're down to the last. Um, yeah, we've done the knife, done the soap, sticky toffee pudding. No, we haven't done that. Ah, those two come together. Form cards, mini EDC box, Highlanders. Right. This is the final item in here. Oh, man. With a Fox Workshop logo on the back and a flint napped arrowhead on the front. This is our, let's have a read, leather field journal, handmade by the Fox Workshop. Five layers of dye um, and finishing to give it an aged antique look. Every outdoor man and prepper needs a field journal, whether you're making notes on plants or making maps for your area, this journal will hold your right in the rain uh, pad and be a great addition to literally any gear set. The journal is made to fold up, leaving the gear, sorry, the rear of the pad unbound to allow you to fit in more paper, leave and plant samples, or to make map print offs. Value, 25 pound. Okay, that's lovely. That's really nice. And, right in the rain pad. Here we go. Um, Finishing off the handmade item this month is a right in the rain field jotter made in the USA. This jotter is great for use in the field and of course it writes in all weathers. That's really cool stuff. I am, um, I've got a couple of these. Um, but now, I have, that is really nice. That is really nice. As is all of the Fox Workshop stuff. Absolutely lovely. Let's get you in there. There we go. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah, we like that. That's a lovely box, that one. That was um that's very cool. As of all the boxes have been very cool, but that one, yeah, I like that. There's some innovative things in that that you wouldn't normally think of taking out with you. Especially, I like that form stuff. And that gel is very cool, that stove. We might have a look at that and see how that works. Um, right then, guys, that's it. Fox box number four. Okay, right, let's see. Um, is there anything else that I need to add to it? Value, the value of the whole box, 60 pounds and 50 pence. Right, I'll put the link on the bottom of the video. Um, I wanna show you something else next that I know you're gonna love. Right, all right, bless you guys. I'll see you shortly, bye.